Whitaker with the Foundation for Florida's Future. Thank you so much for joining the Florida Chamber Foundation at our event, which is our Education Summit. We're talking about advancing Florida's education platform overall, from K-12 through to higher ed to career readiness. Um, the foundation has played such a central role in the dialogue across the board. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing and also a little bit about why it's important for both business and foundations across the state who have a, who have a passion for education uh, to work together and move forward. Right. So the Foundation for Florida's Future, we are 100% are focused on student achievement and making sure that the education system here in Florida, it is centered around and focused on student achievement. So all of the policies that we've championed over the last 15 years and all the gains that you've seen in education here in Florida over the last 15 years uh, stem from the, the changes in policy that, that focus on student achievement. But this isn't done in isolation and, and, and not not we're not doing it by ourselves, which is the importance of a conference like this and a meeting like this. Um, so foundations such as the Foundation for Florida's Future, Lumina, Helios, and others, they have expertise in, in research and uh, bringing resources together. The business community, they are, are looking at long-term workforce development. Um, and so they know what the needs are. So working with the business community, working with educators, working with foundations, coming together and generating ideas and generating energy around pushing education, uh, progress and innovation here in Florida forward, that's the, that's the beauty of what's happening um, here today. So I'm, I'm very encouraged by, by the conversations that we've had right. uh, so far today. Well, today we've, we've heard a lot about what's going to be next for Florida. We've talked about raising the bar. And if you look at all the combinations right now, what is, what is tops on the list um, that the Florida Chamber members and uh, the foundation can be working together on going forward over the next year? Okay. One of the, the critical things in making sure that students are ready for college and career and making sure that we have a, a workforce that is prepared for the challenges of the future is making sure that the standards to which we are educating our students are rigorous, strong, and higher than the standards we've had in the past. So to that end, a big project that our communities and our organization should be working on is, is supporting the new Common Core state standards. Um, and, and these are standards that will, will make sure that our students graduate high school uh, with a diploma that has some meaning and some heft behind it, and that will prepare students for the challenges that they'll face when they're in college, and prepare students for the challenges that they'll face when they enter, enter the workforce. That is one of the most critical things. Standards are, are a baseline and the foundation of any education reform movement. Right. Well, Corey, thank you so much for joining the Florida Chamber today in this effort, in this gathering, in this conversation, and really leading the way on so many discussions. And, and we appreciate your leadership, and uh, we appreciate working with you. Right, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much. Have a good Pleasure day. to be here.